Hi and welcome back to the video series, The Realized Automation 7.3. Today we're going to talk about reservations and reservation policies. So what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we create a reservation policy for either site, so for site A and site B, and then we're going to create reservations for site A and site B, and allocate some resources. So. Let's just get right to it. So what we're going to do is we log in as the Fabric Admin. So as I mentioned before, that's cunningly called Fabric Admin. Right, so the infrastructure, the mouse starts working. There we go. Go to Reservations. And reservation policies. So we're going to create a reservation policy called Site A. They are also storage reservation policies. So I'm going to show them a bit later on what they are about. So just going to click here. I'm going to create a Site B. OK. And move on to the actual reservation. As mentioned before, reservation policies link reservation to a blueprint. And don't worry, I'm going to show that as well to see what it actually looks like. So here we create a vCenter reservation. Give it a name, cunningly again, side A. Our newly created business group called business group. And the reservation policy side A, and give it a priority. Go to resources, select our endpoint site A. There we go. So, out of those data stores, we're just going to use NFS and just assign something random. In my case, like 500 gig will do with a priority one. OK. And out of the 32 gig of RAM the cluster has available, I'm just going to allow 16 gig and select a resource pool. So that resource pool you can see here, called VRA Machines. Um, I'm just going to quickly jump over to the vCenter. That particular data, uh, resource pool is an actual resource pool. So you can see inside A I have a VRA Machines, and inside B I don't have one. So So let's select this network. Again, we created two virtual networks in NSX, so I'm going to use those for site A. I'm probably going to use external later on as well. Um, just found an idea what to do with blueprints, but we'll talk about that later. Select the two network profiles we created, and that's that. Let's refresh this. So now I'm going to create a site B. Second side, of, second side reservation. The reason you give it a priority is in case your business group has access to multiple reservations. Um, so you can set a priority. Otherwise, if you would have a priority for or the same priority for both, you would end up deploying round robin. So same NSS, NF, NFS 500 gig. In later videos, you probably see that the data store has changed, the name has changed because I'm going to migrate it. Here you can see no resource pool network, just the external for now. It's an external network profile. And that's for the reservations. So here you can see we got two reservations site A. Site B, you can see the allocated resources, so 12 gig of memory, 500 gig storage, 16 gig memory, and 500 gig of storage. So reservation policy, so what's the point, right? Um, so we just log out quickly and log in as a catalog admin. We're just going to fire up some <coughs> random blueprint. So just going to... Design 
blueprint just gonna create you can see I haven't created any yet so I'm just gonna give it a random name let's say test okay just gonna drag a random vSphere machine and here you can see the reservation policies so again if you have a particular blueprint which has resources available only in one side for example another you can pin it to one particular um, the blue can pin the blueprint to one particular reservation so I mentioned storage reservation policies as well so it's kind of the same deal um, so you let's look in the Safari Cup and again create a storage reservation policy uh, imagine you have a two data stores, one is backend with SSD, one is, for example, uh, with SATA, and you want to give the option to have different tiers within the blueprint. So, for example, a gold and silver, let's just create a gold one as an example. Gold, select the type storage reservation policy, hit OK. Uh, let's go silver, and again, uh, storage reservation policy, OK. Now we need to assign these storage reservation policies to an actual data store. We do this under the compute resources. So compute resources. And just edit one of them. I'm gonna remove that later on. It's just for you to see what it what it's for really. Configuration. So for example, let's let's just assume my NFS is my SSD one. So I'm gonna give that a gold. And let's just say those two local ones. Okay, actually, no, hang on. Green tick mark, there we go. And let's just say those two local data stores are silver. Let's call it silver. Again, the whole point of that is you can give an option to your users to change that so let's gonna go back in again as a catalog admin obviously you don't have to use that but it's more descriptive if you say gold silver rather than data store xyz and data store xyz so again the name is more like a description of what it's supposed to be so if you go again into a blueprint just create a random blueprint let's go tests Drag it over if my mouse would actually work. Yeah, there we go. Drag it over. Storage allows us to set change storage policies. So during deployment, a user can essentially decide where the disks of that VM are. So next part, we're gonna prepare some VRI templates. See you there.